Hey everyone, Ross from AB Ordoff Brothers Outdoors. Today I'm going to walk around my Polaris Sportsman 570 X2 with power steering. I'm going to show you some of the things I did to make this uh, more suitable to what I like to do with it, and that is ice fish and plow snow. Um, without further ado, we'll walk around here and I'll show you some of the add ons I've made. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you want to play tough, I want to hate this. Uh, one of the things I bought for this right away when I purchased the four-wheeler was a Polaris Glacier quick detach plow. You can see, very easy to uh, hook onto the four-wheeler and unhook. Operates with your winch. I also purchased tracks this year, um, anticipating a large amount of snow uh, like we had last year. We didn't have the snow we had last year, but the tracks are still uh, quite an investment awesome investment. I've got a auger mount. I use this uh, four-wheeler for ice fishing a lot. I got a quick uh, auger mount. Put my strike master on there. Um, one little hook over the shaft of the auger and it's attached. Put an aftermarket uh, floodlight on the front for plowing. I don't like to drill into my machine at all. I went into the auger mount, put a quick uh, 12 volt plug in that I plug into the four wheeler when I'm using it. Also, just a couple little things beverage holder, phone holder, and a rear view mirror uh, that helps out when you're uh, backing up in reverse when you're plowing snow so you don't run into something. Put a cargo net over my box, uh, helps secure items in there. The seat obviously folds back into the box. Um, a backrest comes up, making this a two-up machine. The big thing we also added this year, uh, my brother Chad from ABO, uh, he and I came up with this design. Um, it's additional rack. If you're riding two up in the four-wheeler, you can put your uh, rods, your depth finders, whatever else uh, you wanna bring with you fishing onto the platform. Pretty easy to make. Uh, I've got an inch and a quarter hitch with a two inch adapter and kind of an L shaped uh, platform for the uh, extra cargo rack. We also added on a uh, welded tow hitch. I can hook my fish house up to here with the pin and be all self contained pulling the fish house, all of my gear inside the four wheeler. The other thing I did, and I found it to be a necessity having had dead batteries out on the lake before. I put an external uh, jump ports on here, positive and negative. I didn't drill into the machine. These holes were already uh, in the frame of the four-wheeler. I don't like to drill into my stuff. I'd like to keep it as factory as I can. This can all be removed if uh, somebody doesn't want it, but players put these batteries in a horrible location on this year model. I also have a trickle charger um, that I can plug in at night when it's not in use and the weather's cold. As far as performance, um, yeah, you do lose some speed with the tracks, but what you gain uh, is way more than you ever give up as far as speed goes. The amount of terrain you can conquer with this, with these tracks and uh, the amount of snow you can go through, uh, the machine's virtually unstoppable. And a 570 is more than enough power to turn the tracks. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like and subscribe. Thank you.